This is a choose your own adventure DUI edition part 31. Now I've had a few drinks tonight. I don't feel that intoxicated, but I'm not sure that I'd be below the legal limit. So this is a terrible situation. You should never be here. I am at the moment. So when the cop asked me, how much have you had to drink tonight? I told him, I had a couple drinks a few hours ago, but totally good to drive. Now, that was a lie. He obviously didn't believe it. They never believe that. So, just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? I agree. Field sobriety test? Sure, I'll give it a shot, why not? My plan was to do the field sobriety test really well and hopefully convince him to let me drive home. But it didn't work. Those gymnastic exercises, not for your benefit, only for his. So, he asked me, would you mind performing a portable breath test? To which I agree. I'm hoping that this comes back below the 0.08 and this can help me drive home, but that's not how this works. It doesn't really matter what those numbers come back. It's showing alcohol in my system, which is probably more than a couple of drinks a couple hours ago, like I said. And there is a running joke among officers, two drinks, Two hours ago means two handcuffs. So based on everything that's gone on here tonight, no choice for the officer. I am taking my two handcuffs and heading in the back of his car instead of driving home in mine. Now, does that surprise you? You think because maybe I blew below the legal limit, I should be going home? That's not how this works. Once the officer asks you out of that car and he wants you to do a field sobriety test, he already has a suspicion. He thinks you're intoxicated. And all I did was perform some exercises that gave him more probable cause. If you wanna see how to handle this a little differently, go back and try a few different choices or follow 1-800-NO-CUFFS and see how to handle a DUI stop correctly.